guys, Marmalade here with Marmalade Outdoors, and guess what? I have a new backpack. Yes, a new backpack. And what is it? The Z-Packs Ultra are called. Well guys, uh, you're probably wondering uh, what's in here. Well, we're gonna do an unboxing. Everybody loves to open up stuff and see it opened up, so we're gonna do that today. I have not seen what's in here. I know what's in here, but uh, I guess the first question is why did I get it? Well, if you guys follow me at all, uh, I got my my very first backpack, I don't even know, five years ago, in 2017, so five years ago, was a ULA um, circuit backpack. Uh, in interest of saving weight, I cut the weight in half, and uh, also a smaller backpack, because as I got my stuff refined, I didn't need as many liters, so it was just more backpack than I needed. I got the Z-Pax Arcol in orange. I've had that about a year, and uh, I really wanted to try this backpack out, and it has this new material. That's why it's called the Ultra, which I'll kind of go over a little bit in the specs part of this and explain what it is. It's a new material that's uh, really the first game changer since uh, DCF, you know, Dyneema Cuban Fiber. So uh, I ordered some accessories to go with this, so we'll go over that too. Uh, uh, some of the accessories I had on my old uh, z Pax pack I really liked, so I have it in this one. But it's a new material. It's also about four or five ounces lighter, so again, saving myself weight. and. Uh, Instead of uh, my old Arcol was 62 liters, this one is 60 liters, so a little smaller. So uh, I'll go over the specs and where the space is in each uh, area of the pack. But uh, how about if we get on with it and uh, see what this thing looks like? Okay, so I have a knife, but I'm going to be super careful to open this baby up, uh, this bad boy up. But uh, uh, this ultra material is multiple times stronger than the old DCF, which was already very strong, um, much lighter. So uh, that's some of the benefits. It's waterproof. Um, so like a lot of benefits. My other one was uh, not waterproof. I always had to have a bag liner. I may still do that. I'm not sure yet. But uh, let's see how this looks. I can see the edge of it. It looks pretty already. All right. Let's do it. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, yeah. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. I bought some uh, like my quilt and some blanket stuff to fill this out so we can look at it full But how about that? And man is this light noticeably lighter than my other pack. I Got the uh, storm gray, so it's got uh, this is the black messy pouch You know, you've got the gray on the sides when we fill out You'll see it better and then the pockets and the accents are black the bottoms black Wow, it's beautiful See if there's anything else in there. Oh so some of the things I told you I ordered extra that I have on the other pack is I really liked uh, this zippered pouch right here. And um, I also ordered the Y strap. So they actually, last time I got this it was separate, but it's actually attached. So um, your pack comes with a single strap right here. So when you roll, this is a roll top, when you roll it down you can put the single strap over, but for the Sierra uh, I got the Y strap, which is this. Let me see if I can unhook it here. Show that to you. There's the Y strap. So when you extend this, when you're packed like this, if you do have your bigger canister on top, this will go up and around it and clip in. And so you would take the single off and use the Y strap. So it's removable. So uh, sometimes I'll have it, sometimes I won't. But that's really great. Wow, it's a beautiful pack. The other thing I ordered, they're separate because everything's a la carte. Uh, I got the same material, ultra material um, waist belt pouches. They're not cheap. They're about $30 each, uh, but I want it to match. They're waterproof. And I do carry a lot of my, everything from ibuprofen to uh, snacks in one. I keep my, um, my stick pick for uh, my hiking pole when I do intros in the morning. And I carry uh, my tripod sometimes and other things in here. So I decided to get it this time. But uh, let's, let's, uh, let me, Put some blankets in here, fill this out, and then we'll go over some of the specs. So I mentioned this amazing new material that almost a lot of the ultralight uh, manufacturers are starting to use. Um, this is a 100 veneer uh, ultra, and I'm actually gonna read their description of what it is because there's no way and you know what, I could memorize this, so let me just read it. Um, so they say the ultra 100 is composed of a woven 100 denier ultra high molecular weight polyethylene also known as UHMWPE face fabric laminated to a waterproof lining. It is inherently waterproof and has extremely high tear and abrasion resistance. So much lighter, it's waterproof and much stronger than its predecessor the DCF. 
So uh, that's what intrigued me about this material and it's starting to become very popular. All right, let's go over some of its quick and kind of easy stats and specs. Uh, it's, uh, as I said, this is called Storm Gray. It also comes in black, only two colors. And then the accents are black. Uh, this is the uh, ultra material here in the pockets and in my uh, belt here, the stretch is kind of a mesh material. You can see, you can see your hand through it. So that helps, actually, I really like that because that helps when you're like looking for something specific when you're on trail and you don't have to dig through. My old pack was solid, you couldn't see through it. I had to pull everything out a lot of times to get what I needed. So I really like that feature with the z -Pax packs. So I got the tall torso height frame because I'm tall, I'm six foot three. I got the large belt, unfortunately, it's because I'm not 32 anymore. And even with that, this pack is only 20.4 ounces, 20.4. So I'm actually saving uh, about five ounces on my old arc haul, so I'm stoked about that. Okay, so this frame height is 23 inches high. Uh, one of the things that uh, I like about this, I'm slowly going smaller and smaller, and I could actually get away with even a smaller backpack, but I went from the old arc haul at 62 liters to the 60 liters, and how it breaks down is there's 47 liters in the main body, there's two and a half liters in each of these side pockets, and then eight liters in this main one here, and that makes up the 60 liters total. And I think one of the most incredible things that I uh, really, really is important to me in a pack, especially if you're going ultra light, is what is the max load capability, the comfortable capability. And as light as this is, and um, with the with the lighter materials, it can handle up to 40 pounds. Now I'll, I'll never get over 30 anymore. But just uh, that, that's really important in case you ever are in a situation where you have really long water and food carries like I did on the PCT in the desert. So um, that matters a lot to me. So those are like the basic specs. And we're going to go over some of its features here in just a minute. I'm going to show them to you. And um, man, I'm just really impressed with this pack so far. Just, you know, obviously I haven't used it. And by the way, I'm going to say that this is just purely first impressions and unboxing. It's, it's helping you in case you're out looking for a pack. You know, you don't have to get what I'm getting. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just showing you uh, what I decided to get and maybe talk about why. And this may help you in one direction or another. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll go over like kind of what, what kind of features and, and benefits they have with this pack next. Ultra Fabric features a woven ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, also known as UHM WPE, face fabric laminated to a waterproof backing. Ultra Fabric boasts extremely high abrasion and tear resistance and is the strongest fabric they offer. Curved carbon fiber air stays combined with a lycra back panel create a gap between your back and the pack. The air gap helps keep your back cool while also preventing items from rubbing against you while you're hiking. The roll top closure keeps water out and lets you roll down the top as your gear load shrinks. All seams and attachment points are taped, making this pack highly water resistant. They still suggest using dry bags for all your important items like your sleeping bag. Comfortable 3 8 thick by 2 and a half inch wide padded contoured shoulder straps and padded belt. Both the straps and the belt have a daisy chain for clipping on items. An adjustable position sternum strap is also included. The belt and the shoulder straps have 3D mesh on the underside. This gives them a little bit more cushion and the belt also has more texture for better grip. Side pockets are sized to fit one or one and a half liter bottles or a two liter soft bladder. They are positioned low on the pack and slanted forward for easy access without removing the pack. The pockets have drainage holes at the bottom and the elastic that keeps them tight at the top. The large stretchy lycra mesh center pocket is great for quick access items. Mesh also lets you dry wet clothing and gives you a clear view of your gear. Side compression straps are made from non-stretchy Dyneema cord for squishing down the pack volume. They also allow you to stand tall items like trekking poles or an umbrella in the side pockets. This 60 liter pack size has enough space for five to six days of food and ultralight gear. The pack can be compressed down with the roll top and side compression straps for shorter trips or use the top strap and base straps to last extra stuff on the outside for long carries. 
Lastly, the short and medium sized frames will fit into an airplane overhead bin with the top rolled down to the frame. The tall size frame may not fit unless you pop the vertical frame bars out of the pack. Oh, and one last thing again. All Z-Packs gear has a two-year limited warranty against defects in materials and workmanship. All right, you guys, I hope that helped in some way. I hope you enjoyed that. Unboxing is always exciting. I'm really excited about this. Now, obviously, every anytime you get any new gears, it's exciting, but um, everything I did is an upgrade or downgrading weight, but upgrading um, the weight, the quality, the material. I get a waterproof pack now, just things like that, lighter. So as I get older, those really matter to me. Uh, I've said this many times in my videos, but I'm slowly refining my gear. It's much lighter. Uh, my base weight's lighter. My gear's not only lighter, but smaller. So I don't need as big of a pack. So when I went from the ULA down to the first arc haul, I, I cut my weight in half just in the pack, which was incredible. And now I've cut it another four or five ounces. And um, the pack is two liters smaller, so it's physically smaller on my body. So. I'm excited about it. You know, I'm also a big guy, so I have a disadvantage when it comes to my base weight. You know, I'm 6'3", like I said, about 230 or 40. And, um, you know, my clothes are bigger, my quilt's bigger, my tent's bigger, my pack frame's bigger, my clothes, just everything, just about everything I bring is bigger, so it just weighs more. Even if it's light, it weighs more. Like, everything weighs, my tent is like four to six ounces heavier than somebody else that has a, a smaller, like I can't get in a one-man tent, right? It could save a lot of weight, so things that uh i try to do what i can but uh sometimes i wish i was a small smaller person so i would get a much smaller pack and everything but i'm doing the best i can i hope this helps you and uh leave some comments what do you think uh, do you have one yet i think i'm one of the very first persons that have this pack and of course i have not used it this is just an unboxing and show you uh, its features and uh i'll definitely do another video once i get some miles on it um i'm gonna do another hopefully large chunk of the pct this year on my quest to finish it uh, I've got a hike actually in about a uh, month planned locally for three days. So I have a lot of stuff uh, planned, so I can't wait to do it. And I'll get, maybe even in my videos, I'll kind of give you some feedback on how it's, it's acting so far. But um, I'm excited about it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, supporting the channel that way. It's free. Like the video if you like it. That helps with the algorithms. Uh, there's lots of ways if uh, you enjoy uh, kind of supporting uh, content creators like myself, go down in the description box and see uh, there's different ways to do it. Very inexpensive. Uh, a lot of it you can write off for taxes, so it's a way of giving back and writing off. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, we'll definitely see you down the trail.